Green moves it to Ball, puts it to the floor, back to the top, Gears, Fortin. Now to Green, back to Ball, pull up three, got it. Right over the top of Chambers, Cody Ball showing off the stroke. Gears looks to run, gets the middle of the floor, behind the back dribble, Braley into the rim for two. What a feed by Gears. Braley wants it in the low post, has Sangster on his back. Braley hangs, hits, and gets fouled. Braley beating the smaller Sangster in the post and then took the hit from Asuncion Bird. Lemoyne going to continue with the press. Braley into the hands of Ball. Hangs in the air, gets it to Braley across midcourt. Gears finds Fortin, attacks off the dribble. Feeds to Braley right to the rim for two. Great drop pass from Fortin. And Braley with a big first half. He's got 13. Fortin tries the baseline this time. Pulls it back out. Gears to Ball. Braley wants it. He's got Sangster in a mismatch. Gears goes to the baseline. Runs out of room. Outside Fortin. Going to fire away. And hits. Third three of the first half for Taylor Fortin. He's got it going from downtown. And the Hawks up by seven. Yeah. Mackay hands it off to Gears. Gives it up to Fortin. He attacks the paint, kicks to the corner. Ball fires a three and hits. Second bucket of the game for Cody Ball. It's a three. And the Hawks lead by 10. Biggest lead of the day for St. A's, 42-32. Fortin to Gears. Into the corner, Ball, another three, cash. Cody Ball showing the confidence. Hits his third three. Green moves it to Fortin. Behind the Braley screen, Mackay hands it off to Ball. Hot hand in the second half. Ball hung up in midair. Fortin shoots the three over Highland and hits. Fifth three for Taylor Fortin tonight, right in the face of Tanner Highland. Hawks by 15 with 11-15 to play. Ball behind the screen, Green to Mackay, slams it home! Ball's gonna inbound it, guarded by Kegler. They get it into gears, guarded tightly. Step back three on the way, off the mark! And what a comeback by Lemoyne! Gears got a decent look at it, but it would not fall. And make it eight in a row for the LeMoyne Dolphins and a tremendous comeback for LeMoyne in the second half.